Okay, I just got out of the train station and I've landed in Kashkai and I'm going to meet Melissa at a fish restaurant called Valerio at the marina. And uh, I'm really excited about this one. You're going to see some really tasty, clean food and uh, some nice people I hear run the place. And I'm really looking forward to this, so let's do this. So I'm super excited to try the uh, grilled riballo, the sea bass here. It's one of my personal favorites uh, here in Portugal. I know there's a gazillion other uh, types of fish uh, from reading all the comments that uh, you guys want me to try, but I'd, I will. Um, but today I gotta go, I gotta see what this sea bass is about. I just love it, just love it. And, oh, what do we have here? We've, we've got uh, sangria. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Oh, that sangria really hits the spot, doesn't it? it sure does. Oh, I have another. Do you know the uh, origins of the sangria and how it came about? Well, I'm gonna guess it was Spain. Yeah, it was made in a monk's toilet. No. In uh, one of these Spanish temples, churches. Yeah. <laughs> and it was an accident. In the toilet. No, I'm just <laughs> pulling your leg. Well, that sounded good, didn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's uh, seabed fillets. Mm -hmm. uh, no bones, uh, no skin. Because it's a uh, very typical Portuguese wine. Olive oil and garlic sauce. Uh, fresh clams on the top, roast potato, and uh, tomato cherry. Okay? Perfect. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm ready to get all fat and sassy. Just get all fat and sassy. I do not have clam experience, except maybe when I was a kid, my dad gave me one for a laugh. So this this is going to be something. I don't really know the first thing about it, but let's uh, let's give it a try. When in Kashkai. Okay, so what do I do, do I? grab the little meat out of the middle there. Do I fork. suck it? No. Do I, oh, with a fork? Yeah. Okay, so is this the little meat mm -hmm. with this stuff? Okay. That's a piece of garlic with it. Yeah, how are you doing that? That's like the first clam I've had maybe in 30 years. <laughs> and that's really good. Oh. <laughs> that is really, really no, good. Yeah. Most of the people they take sea bass, but since the full sea bass, uh -huh. they grill it. So yeah, we've had it like that. Yeah, you mm -hmm. grill it, but that's different. That's different. Because if you, you, you are eating and you want, well, you can find probably one, 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 one little one, bone. One. That's okay, but, but it's okay. Some, it but doesn't. We're, we're, we're very careful taking it. So where, uh, where do these oh, clams come from? Where do they right. come from? From the sea. Just like right here? Yeah, yeah. You just dive into the water when someone dies and comes in the Oh wow. Oh my goodness. I, what am I doing? I know nothing about this stuff. <laughs> there it is. I'm going for it. What are those? Like? I have no idea. I think that's the babies. No. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm in savage mode. <laughs> Do you have a lot of experience with clams? <laughs> Only the ones I've had here. How often do you get clammy? Do they call it that? Like if you eat clams, you're getting clammy? No. Look at this. Uh, you must have dessert. No. Tasty, delicious dessert awaits us all. Please have dessert. <laughs> what you doing now? Okay, so what's I, happening? <laughs> I've switched from red sangria with citrus fruit to a champagne red sangria with red fruits. 
You go, girl. Is it good? Yeah. Nice. Say yas to the sauce. Yas to the sauce. So I'm gonna dive in to a gorgeous hazelnut mousse here. I don't know if I want to share any of this with you, Mel. That's okay. I think I have enough sugar in this beverage. So there you have it, lunch at Valeria um, at the marina here in Kashkaish. And uh, it ran about 63 euros for all of that. Uh, call it an even 70. Let's recap what we had. We had two grilled sea bass plates. We had two side dishes. We had a pitcher of sangria. We had a dessert. And then I got an additional sangria that's made with champagne. All of that, all of that came to 64 euros. Mind you, we are in an upmarket area of Kashkai. We are in the marina where there's a lot of uh, nice restaurants. But uh, you were able to get all of that for 64 euros. So there you have it. So there you have it. <laughs> sangria. What's happened to us? Oh Lord. Middle aged. Huh. That's a lot of stairs, huh? <laughs> huh, it never ends. Huh. It's Jujinia time. I think it's early morning, but we are uh, gonna try another little uh, kiosk here in uh, Pracio de Comercio with our friends. And they serve it in a chocolate cup, and we've been uh, advised. advised not to eat the chocolate cup the first time because they re refill it and you eat it on the second try. And this place is Jujinia do Carmo. Jujinia de Carmo. Yeah, so only on the second one you'll, uh, you can eat it. That sounds great. So they give you a card, they give you a card once you, uh, you, you reach all the, all the, the stamps in. They'll give you two for free. Yeah. No, comparing Carmo Ginginha to, to the one in Obit, uh, this one is a little bit sweeter. Uh, this is sweeter, okay. The, the, the Obit one is good. Uh, I'm not saying it's not. For me, or for us, it's a bit bitter. Uh, this one goes better uh, with the chocolate. And how does it compare to the one that attracts all the tourists? Just well, the one that by Rossio. The the one that attracts all the tourists is the best. It's the most traditional one. Uh, probably, it's a cultural thing. But for me, it's the the traditional Ginginia that I was learned that I was taught to to, to love and that where I went when I was a young boy. That's the Ginginia I really like to. This one is good. It's the Lisbon one. The Carmo is the Lisbon one. Uh, but that's the traditional Ginginia since forever. That's what. I think the guy that's working there yeah. worked there when you were a kid. Oh, you worked there when they found, <laughs> when the Celts discovered us. <laughs> That's nice. That's a really good one. It is. That is really, really good. A little bit of the yeah. chocolate. Mmm. Mixes with mm -hmm. um, 
I forgot which one was mine. Me too. I uh, it doesn't one. matter. That's why I didn't put mine here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, You're experienced, uh, I can okay, tell. No, no, I, I, drink, I drink since the young age. So I can eat the chocolate on no, this guy. No, no. Yeah, okay. No, no. Cheers. cheers. Virtual cheers, because. This is turning me into beast mode. That's good. No. We should bring some portable chairs and just sit right here and keep. Mm. That's great. Delish. Let's go get some more. Come on. So we're taking a quick break for lunch at Sol y Peshka. Still hanging out with our buddies, Ava and uh, Jose. And learning a lot about sardines here. From my understanding, we've got quite a choice of uh, canned sardines, tuna, canned fish that, that have been preserved. Mackerel oh. as well. Sounds great. Well, let's do it. Uh, it used to be a, a store that sold uh, fishing supplies and they still maintain some of the business. So the menus are, come with a fishing uh, rod awesome. uh, and the food's based on canned, uh, canned fish. Canned fish. Uh, cooked in different ways. So, so they do cook the fish from the can? Uh, not not really, always. But not, yeah, it's preserved. It's, it's canned, it's fish preserved. So it'll be cold food. Yep. But my, good one. my great aunt would love that. And you will love it as well. <laughs> Did we ever try fish heads? Today's not the day for that. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like me, they're so <laughs> So explain what we're having. We're having mushama. Mushama is this. Okay. It looks like ham, but right. it's uh, tuna fish that's dried and treated like ham. Then it's cut it really thin. You, you uh, put a little bit of lemon juice on top and it's wonderful. But it's only tuna treated like ham. This is mussels on escabeche sauce, which is, which is a, an olive oil and vinegary sauce and parsley. This is mackerel on olive oil. This is sardines, fillet sardines in tomato sauce. This is mushama, which is dried tuna, like it was pork ham. This is spiced tuna. This is mackerel on Fish preserves. So you had mussels just now. I just now. had a mussel. Now I've had oysters before and it's similar. The texture of the meat is very similar to an oyster to me. It's tomatoey. I don't know how to describe that muscly, meaty flavor or texture. It's not like a fish fillet. It's more of like a liver texture. Okay, and there's no bones in any of it. You just go, it's like a fillet. Everything's a fillet. So I got a completely bone-free dish. All right, I'm gonna put this away and get it going. It's really different, the taste, with the, the, the different kinds of olive oils. So tasting it without it, it's one thing, with, with it, it's much better. A lot of unique combinations. <laughs> So you pop an olive in your mouth and then you go and you put something else in it. Pop an olive and put a little bit of cheese and bread, for instance. To get multiple flavors in your mouth at the same time. What do you think? Mm. These olives have a floral flavor to them. It's delicious. 
seasoning. Mm -hmm. And what is that? This is tuna ham. Mashuma. Mashuma. I don't go to oils with it. I just go like this, right? <laughs> Different. Yeah. And we'll try, I think this is mackerel. The key is to get the different flavors. So this kind of goes in there. I think I'm going to have to hit stop and do some concentration. Yeah. And you will love it as well. And you will love it as well. All right, so there you have it. That concludes our lunch at Sol e Pesca, which was um, all different kinds of preserved fishes and um, breads and olives and olive oil and sauces and spices. It was delicious. So we got out of there with about 64 euros for everything. For four people, we had wines and beers. Yeah. With everything. And a lot of preserved fish. <laughs> On to our next adventure. <laughs> All right, so we are in Rocio and. <laughs> what was that? Uh, we are in Rocio this afternoon and we are gonna finally try the gingina here, which is a cherry liqueur or a cherry medicine y liquor. Uh, Deutsch, please? Look, there's beans in here because of all the cheese. Oh, wow. You have some change? How much is it? I don't know. Where you put it? 280. Two, is that two? And three? So it's two euros, 80 pence for two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Obrigada. Hopefully it cures what ails you. Does it cure poverty? Uh -huh. Wouldn't that be something? <coughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Does it? It's sweet. It's actually not too alcoholy, but it makes you warm. Down the hatch. Let's see, maybe it'll cure my priapism. <laughs> <laughs> they might have pits, be careful. For me, it's the, the traditional yeah. ginginia uh -huh. that I was learned, that I was taught to, to, to love, uh -huh. and that where I went when I was a young boy. It's good. And it, that's going to cure all our ills. Okay, so there you have it. A Gigenia. Hope I said that right. Maybe a Gigenia. A Gigenia. A Gigenia. A Gigenia. <laughs> I think it might be the correct spelling. Maybe those of you watching could uh, spell it out for me in the comment, the correct pronunciation. Because I wouldn't mind coming back. It was pretty good. On to the next adventure. Okay. No, go back. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. The George Delicious Guinness. On to the next adventure. Oh, sorry. So there you have it. The George, delicious. Let's go to the next adventure, come on. My phone doesn't film very fast. He's too fast, Spider-Man. I couldn't get him.
kind of get a quick jumping jack. 